Hello YouTube, Gabe here with another deck profile. So, I got into this little bet with Richard where, you know how he bought that box <coughs> of the Destructive Roar? So, I told him if he pulled an OR or an SVR that I would build whatever deck that was. So here we are. So for the starter, we're running Machining Worker Ant. It's the only V starter in the game. You're running it because it, it stands for communism. It's the machining worker ant. It's the machining proletariat ant. It's the proletariat. So that's why you're running it. I'd run it at four if it wasn't a starter. Grade three is four spark Hercules with that um, spank energy max. Um, it's the VR, it's basically just Soul Saber, but better, because it's Counter Blast 2 instead of Soul Blast 5, so you can, you will reasonably be using it two or more times a game, as opposed to one, twice if you're lucky. Also, it negs your opponent during their turn, which is hilarious. Also, you can put a rear guard into your Soul to give him 5k for each of your opponent's rested rear guards, so it can also be a big beefy boy. So yeah, it's your, it is your main ride target 100% of the time, because it does nothing on rear, and the other grade 3 is kind of out on van. Also protect gift, because that's the thing. Next, four copies of Machining Swag Beetle, so protect gift on place. You can call two cards from Sola's Rest, and if you place it on Van, Stag Beetle gets their combined power. So it's basically the original Beetle, but it works on Rear Guard. It gives you a plus two for your field, so you don't need to commit anything from hand. So you go into Spark Hercules, you play Stag Beetle, use Hercules' effect to give everything 5k and stand all of your rested Rear Guards. So you basically don't need to call things. You only need to call one for a total of three. And if you want, you can suck one of the call cards back with Spark Hercules' second effect, then call another Stag Beetle to fill out your field. So it's a good card. Definitely the backup. We're only w running one Antlion, because unlike OTT, you, um, kind of... You really don't want to see... You, because So the deck can search for grade 3s, so it's honestly a lot easier to get to Antlion than OTT is getting into Deer when you are just blind drawing for the most part. Also, Antlion has a hefty cost because, well, it's only, you don't have to blast one grade 3, you have to drop two cards. So, I only run it at one, and honestly, that's all it needed, it needs to be. I never really felt the need to run it at two. I might end up doing it and just knocking out a 2 or a 1 or something, but for the most part, 1 has been working fine, and I don't want my hand to get too, too congested with grade 3s when OTT can honestly... On, o, OTT can work with congested 3s better, because you're going to be riding every time anyways. With this, you don't really want to ride Stag Beetle over Hercules if you don't, unless you just don't have count. Unless you really only need 1. Next, four copies of Machining Mantis. On place, Counter Blast 1, check top 6 for a 3, add it to hand, shuffle, and plus 6k to Mantis. It becomes a 15k beater that lets you get a 3 from the top four, 6 cards of your deck. So, go plus 1, hit force numbers, have a good time. Next, four copies of Bloody Hercules. So, on place, for rear, Soul Blast 1, he gets 6k, and Vanner rear on hit, counter charge, and he, um, he gets 6k. You get to give a card 6k, I'm sorry. So it's a decent counter charge engine that works on when on Vanner rear and when it hits rear. So it's great. It's a good card at 2. It's a good card at 4. It's definitely the backup. Then, we're running 2 copies of Nasty Smug, mostly because it's free, all your opponents in the cards in the same column can't intercept, and cards in the back row of the same column can't stand during their stand phase. So freeze stunning, even though it's one card in the back, but it can be helpful. 
and also honestly it's just free like you like a lot of things in this deck have cost so you kind of so this is helps just with a decent effect that doesn't you don't need to pay for then we're teching in that one spicy copy of water gang when it stands counter blast one move it to soul to draw two it works during the stand phase which is great so you can just keep it there stand and draw and then use its effect but you know draw two i'm only running it at one because again costs are a thing that you want to conserve and honestly even in the games when i do see it in my hand i don't always end up using it so it's you only need it at one i'm considering dropping it all together for another grade one or three copies of nasty smog but i, I it's it when it works it works Next, four copies of Machining Hornet, which is just Wing Gull Youth for the deck. So, on hit or successful boosted hit, check top six for a three, add it to hand, and if Hornet's on the rear when you added a card, shove him into the soul. He's fun with Machining Stag Beetle, because you, you use its effect on rear, move into the soul after you search, ride Stag Beetle, get it out. No, you call Stag Beetle, get it out as rest, then you use Spark Hercules to stand Hornet and reuse it. So that's fun. He's a, he's a good, he's a drilly boy. Then, four copies of Spiteful Hopper. So, on place for rear, Soul Blast 1, give another card 6k, and if you have no face up, counter charge 1. So, giving things power is nice. You like to give it to Antlion, which as I'm saying this, I never actually said what Antlion did. I was just talking about why you run it at one. Um, you give Antlion more power. It gives you a potential counter charge, which is good because this deck kind of needs it with a counter blast two for Spark Hercules. And the um, Mantises also counter blast two. So it's good because you, you do their things, you call it, use its effect, and you just have them go on your merry way. Next, three copies of Butterfly Officer, Small Captain, and two copies of Phantom Black. What I'm considering doing is dropping Phantom Black to one and Bu Butterfly to four, because Bla Phantom Black really is only good with um, Antlion, but, like, and Butterfly Officer is on place rest it give another rear guard 10k and at the end of the turn you move officer into the soul and counter charge one so you move the card that you picked into the soul and counter charge one i'm sorry so it's a guaranteed counter charge while it's at the end phase where hopper is during the phase you call him but you need no face up this can be anything so because of how guaranteed officer is also giving a card 10k i kind of want to put it at four so i might either drop phantom black to uh one for that or dropping a uh, water gang altogether for butterfly officer like i was saying earlier but oh also i should probably say what phantom black does uh when phantom black when it boosts you discard a card he gets 6k and your opponent can't use normal units to guard it's spicy and premium not in standard because your opponent can still PG it, but that's why it makes the spicy antlion combo, which I'll get into after I finish the deck. Because you should, I should probably let you know what antlion does, because it's you know you, this deck's version of deer. Uh, next four copies of paralyzed Madonna, draw trigger PG. It's a draw trigger and it's a perfect guard. Four copies of Medical Battler Ron Plea. So it's a heal trigger, 20k shield, heals, so you can just heal a counter blast of damage and then take a damage for effectively counter charging. And next we're going four copies of Shelter Beetle and four copies of Sharp Nail Scorpio, because they're your crits. I'm considering going down to six crit and upping the draws to six because a lot this deck kind of has a lot of pieces that it likes to use to work so i might up the draws just to guarantee those pieces like sometimes like sometimes when you're searching your top deck with for threes you'll miss so you might want to draw those threes regardless so i might want draws for that but you know crits kill so crits kill it's on a front it's not a excel deck so you're gonna want it 
So back to Antlion for the nice epilogue of this video. Uh, tell uh, Richard, please put someone in this video. Gabe's a fucking dumbass. If you made it this far in the video, you can write Gabe's a fucking dumbass, honestly. It's all good. Um, so what it does is on attack for Van or Rear, you Soul Blast a grade 3 and drop 2 cards. So he gets 10k and a crit, and your opponent can't use Sentinels. So it's Waterfall, but... It, because it's not a force plan, it doesn't get as much power, but it works on rear guard, which is cool. So, it's solid. It's a good card, and it's basically searchable, considering how many things search grade 3s in this deck, and how many things you can recycle for that grade 3 search, since you can just use Hornet, Stag Beetle, bring it out, etc. So, the play with this is Phantom Black. This is how you, you are guaranteeing yourself a victory, because... For Soul Blast of 3 and dropping 3 cards, one from Black and one from Antlion, you have a 36k without Triggers or Stag Beetle. I mean, Spark Hercules. You have 36k, 2 crit, no Sentinels, and no normal units. So your opponent will only be able to guard this attack with non-PG Triggers. So it's 36 by itself you're going to probably be using it with spark hercules making it 46 because they're each getting 5k if you use uh you use spiteful hopper make it give it another six you can use a uh, butterfly grill make it even 10k higher so there's a lot of ways to make it bigger on top of triggers to make it even more unguardable so this is basically your win con which is, I know it's weird that I'm saying it's your win con when you run two of one and one of the other, but one's searchable, and honestly, you have all... Phantom Black, it's mainly Antlion that's the win con. Phantom Black is just kind of there to help, but, you know, it's good. It's fine, Phantom Black's good at two. Another combo I want to go over that I really like to do with this deck is when you're riding to grade two, you'll ideally, and in most cases, only have one damage, so what you can do is ride on um, Mantis over whoever. So let's just say you got Hornet and Worker Ant for the manga original machining aesthetic. So you ride it, you counterblast one, check top six, add your grade three, and you add to your hand. So you right now, because you only had one damage, you have no damage face up. You call Spiteful Hopper, blast, give him another 6k, and you get to counter charge. Because it doesn't say how many damage you need face down, it just me it just you need to have no face up. So this is a fifth 17 29 on your grade two ride for a and check top six for a grade three for a soul blast of one. So I like to do that. Also, as I said before, I like to do stag beetle mixed with hornet. So, this was my mess of a deck profile. It's a standard deck profile, so 50 cards, and I am, as of the end of this sentence, it took me 13 minutes and 15 seconds to finish. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, it'll be in a video soon. Not a, not a fight. The, uh, the other ASMR video. So, the important, the important video. Um... Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our Patreon, um, keep it fucking real, you scaly bastards.